Hey, sugar. That was so big thing. Okay, now let's get into it. I was fighting to stay awake, but I felt weaker and weaker. I felt dizzy and confused. My vision was getting worse and worse. Then I blacked out. Liam's point of view. I took my car and I drove to the forest as fast as I could. I swear if Tyler hurts her, I will kill him. Well, bitch, you better get your gun ready, baby. I have to find her. I hope we're wrong. I hope she's not with him. I hope she's in a safe place. And where the fuck would that really be? But I'm no fool. But I'm not a fool. I know she's not. I have a bad feeling. Something is wrong. Suddenly I saw the cabin that CB was talking about. There's a light on inside. Someone's there. And then I saw, what did you see? She was laying, she was there, laying on the bed, unconscious and half naked. Tyler was there too, standing over her. His fucking hands on her body. The door was locked. I stepped back and I kicked the front door. Okay. Kick the door down, bitch, with your ugly ass. Get away from her. You shouldn't be here. I said, get away. He got off the bed and stared at me like a psychopath. I'm not afraid of him. I've dealt with much worse people than him. And I'm not scared of anyone. I took a look at Blake. She was still asleep. She had blood on her leg and on her arms. On her left leg and her arms. Anger came over me. I clenched my fist, fist and I looked at. I looked back at him. What did you do, Tyre? This is none of your business. We have no right to. Be, you have no right to be here. Shut up, you son of a bitch. I came closer to him. I was about to beat the crap out of him then. He took out a knife and pulled it at me. What are you going to do now? He laughs. <laughs> are you really willing to die for this little slut? This is enough. I grabbed his arm. The one with which the one with which he held the knife and pushed him into the wall. I took out my gun and I pointed it at him right between his eyes. His face immediately changed and he dropped the knife. I bet the fuck he did, baby. <laughs> uh, I used to see this look now. I'm used to see, to see this look now. What? I'm used to seeing this look now, okay? I saw it on many faces. And it's always the same expression. Fear. Mm. What, what are you doing? <laughs> what did you do to her? N nothing, I swear. Why is she so, why is she asleep? I I drugged her. At that moment, all I could feel was anger grow inside of me. I pistol whipped him so hard that he fell to the floor. I came on top of him and I started to punch him. I hit him with every ounce of my strength again and again. Please, Liam, stop. That's what uh, <laughs> that's what bastards like you deserve. Please, she's fine. Let me go. She's fine. Is he kidding me right now? The anger made me, made my heart beat faster and faster. I could feel the blood pounding through my temples. And soon his blood was all over my hands. Ooh, I couldn't stop hitting him. Give me one good reason not to kill you. P please don't. Really? That's all you have? I punched him again. He deserves this. I couldn't stop. Until I remember what. That I still had to take Blake out of there. Suddenly all the anger I had was replaced by worries. 
I took off I took my hands off Tyler. He was pretty hurt. He was he was pretty bad hurt anyway, girl. What the fuck? I stood up and I ran to Blake. Blake. Blake, can you hear me? She didn't wake up but she was breathing and her pulse was normal. I dressed her and took her in my arms. I stared at Tyler. He was still on the floor. You're lucky I didn't kill you today. But trust me, if you ever speak to her again, or look at her, or anything else, I will kill you. I swear, Tyler, if you touch one hair on her head, you'll end up in the garbage bag at the bottom of the lake. Bitch, fuck a body bag, girl. Am I clear? Yes. Yes, you are. Please leave now. I stared at him one last time, then I left. I came out the cabin, and I stopped for a minute. Mm -hmm. I looked at her, and I sighed with, with relief. Thank God I came just in time. She's fine. I can't imagine what could... I can't imagine what I could do if someone were to touch her. Uh, if someone touched her. I don't know what the fuck ever. Um, I know for a while that Tyler is a jerk, but a raper? Who could do that to a girl? I sigh again. Holding her in my arms makes me realize how much I miss her. Aw. I miss how much I miss our moments together. She lights up my life, but she's not here anymore. She has Stevie now. <sniffs> Bitch, please, girl. And she'll never want to date a drug dealer. Girl, lies. She, she trying to get the D, baby. Mm. I gathered my thoughts and I started to walk to the car. She was still asleep, but for her snuggle up to me. This made my heart beat faster for a moment. Why does she have this effect on me? I don't know. Since my father died, I promised myself I would never love anyone. It hurts too much. When you lose someone you love, I don't want to live that again. I don't do love. I never did with anyone. You don't love your fucking mother, bitch? It was always about sex and fun. But Blake, she's different. I don't want to do this to her. Since I'm beginning, I can't. I, oh, since the beginning, I couldn't. Um, I don't know why this never happened to me before. Okay, maybe I know why. I just don't want to admit it. Anyway, I guess it's too late now. I missed my chance with to be with her. Finally, I arrive in front of my car. I open the rear door and I lay her on the back seat. And then I started the car. Joanne's point of view. God, I hope she's fine. Are they in her house? What if her parents come home? Right, they won't. They're not here. I hope Liam found her. The house key was in her purse, so we thought we could wait here, hoping she was fine. Yep, in there, there is his shit. Suddenly, I saw Liam walking through the front door. He was holding her. Hmm. You found her. Thank God. He made his way upstairs. Well, he made his way to another room upstairs. We followed him without saying a word. He seemed really tense. And he had blood on his hands. Or well, on his clothes. I guess he found Tyler too. <laughs> oh. I need a first aid kit. What happened? What the fuck? Your fucking friend drugged her. What did you do to him? He had what he deserved. Fucking bastard. But right now it doesn't matter. I have to see if I can find a first aid kit. He's a psychopath. Is he okay? I don't know and I don't care. Jerk. Oh, bitch, so you... Girl. Girl. I found the medical bandages and some a disinfectant. What happened? He tried to rape her. Mm. And I think he tortured her with a knife. You have killed his son. Wait, have you killed this, this son of a bitch? No, but I will if he tries anything else. Liam banished her thigh. And he took care of her arms. 
I never saw him like that before. I mean, I never saw him so concerned. The way he touches her. Hmm. The way he looks at her. He never looked at me that way. Does he love her? Hmm. No, that's impossible. He doesn't love anyone. But maybe Blake lied to me. Maybe they slept together. Can I ask you something? Go ahead. Mm -hmm. How did you know uh, there was a bedroom here? It's like you know the house. It's because I already came here. But I'm sure that's not what you want to know. Did you sleep with her? No. I'm sorry, but I have, but I find that hard to believe. I know you. But it's the truth. We never did anything. And to be honest, I think she's a virgin. That explains a lot. Mm, no, bitch. She's not, girl. Once he had finished to clean her wounds, he looked at her and stroked her cheek before he kissed her forehead. Mm, she'll be okay. I think she'll wake up soon. Just stay with her. Of course, I won't leave her. Girl, say something. Is she happy with him? Yeah, I think she is. Then tell her that Stevie found her. What? Why? If she's happy with him, she doesn't need to know that I was there. Well, that I was here. I don't want to ruin her happiness. <laughs> if that's what you want, it is. Um, Take care of her. Aww. Bitch, you better tell her. I'm sorry, Blake. I didn't want to put you in danger. Bitch, you better tell her it was fucking Liam. Fuck Stevie, Che ass. Fucking disloyal ass hoe. Mm -mm -mm. I stayed with her all night long. I really didn't want to put her in danger. I just wanted to help her. And I thought that Tyler had learned his lesson. I was wrong. Stevie went back to the, uh, went back in the middle of the night. He found Tyler at the cabin. He was really hurt. He took him to the hospital before he came here. He should have let him die. That's what monsters would have deserved. Back to Blake's point of view. Girl, I don't even... The next day, bitch, you should have... Uh, okay, girl. You should have let him, let him where he was, left him where he was. If I didn't go there, who knows what would have happened to him. Who cares? He tried to rape your girlfriend and you take his side? I don't take his side. He's my friend no matter what. I couldn't let him down. Oh, okay, and trust me, he's pretty bad hurt hurt pretty badly oh my god anyways he won't leave the hospital soon i don't understand you do you like her at least of course i do mm, liam mm -hmm. you're awake he was there no sweetie he wasn't do you remember what happened yes tyler he kidnapped me he gave me something i don't know what i blacked out what happened don't tell me he Nothing happened so Stevie came just in time. How did you know? It doesn't matter. You're fine. That's all that matters. My body and my head hurt me. Everything I was was confused. I swear I heard Liam, but it's probably a dream. Tyler, where is he? You have nothing to worry about. He'll leave you alone now. I hope so. Um, I want to be alone. Please leave me. Of course, I'll be downstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my body hurts my head hurts my heart hurts everything in my life hurts okay it's too much to handle I'm so tired of everything why did you call us what happened tyler kidnapped blake yesterday when um she was on her way to your house what luckily we found her in time where is he don't worry, he had what he deserved. Anyway, I wanted to tell you what happened. I know your friend. I know you're her friend. Thank you. Can I see her? She wants to be alone, but you can give it a try. I don't want her. I don't want to bother her. I'll talk to her later. Thank you for calling us. It's fine. Tell her I'll call her later. Okay. 
So what the fuck happened? This bitch got a horrible life. What happens um, when her fucking parents come home? I spent a few days at home. Joanne stayed with me. My parents still didn't come home, clearly. I don't even know where my mother is. And after a few days, I went back to school. Uh, you could dress... What? You could dress better. Now that you're with me, you don't have to wear sweatpants. You're always be you're always you're way more beautiful when you're wearing dresses. I have to go to class. Are you okay? Hell no, nah, bitch. No, I'm not. He drugged me and tortured me, bitch. How could he do this to me? I dated him for a year. I thought he was kind. I was so wrong. And now CB asked me to wear dresses as if I wasn't enough for him. If you're not happy with him, you should break up. I'm fine with him. And he saved me. I won't leave him. He doesn't deserve that. He, all, He's always there for me since Liam is not. I know it's hard, but no, you don't know. No one knows. But, anyone, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Tyler's not here. I wonder if it's because of me. But Liam is here. Why can't I forget him? I try with all my strength every day, but it doesn't work. Suddenly, he looked at me. It was the first time in a while that he looked that we looked at each other. But then he looked away. Oh, I miss him. You should come to Tom's house tonight, girl. No, hell no. I don't know, B bitch. No, come on. You can come with Stevie and Joanne. It'll do you good. Fine, why not? Bitch, no. Bitch, you just almost get... What? Girl. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> After fucking school, bitch. Do you want to go to Tom's party tonight? No. Why not? I don't want to go, bitch. But we'll go together this time. Yeah, that's a good idea. Them two motherfuckers always standing there. Stop staring at him. I'm not staring at him. Do you still love him? And I want the truth. Of course I do. But I know what she'll say if I admit it. She'll say that he's not good for me. That he doesn't love me. That I deserve better. She's probably right. He's a, he's in the gang. He's a drug dealer. I'm all, I always say to myself I could never fall in love again. Not after Tyler. Not before I leave my house. What did I do to fall for him? Isn't my life horrible enough? No, I don't love him anymore. Of course, I still think about him, and that's all in the past. I'm with Stevie now. Okay, I trust you. Girl. I officially hate this fucking game, okay? Officially, like, I'm over this shit now. Went to my house. Stepfather's not... I'm supposed to come back home for a fucking week. Mother's never around. We watched some TV. Went to Tom's party. I hate this. Mm -mm -mm. Girls, I have to tell you something. Tom and I, we did it. About time. Unlike you, some girls like to play hard to get you in. <laughs> Nothing more fun than, than sex, honey. don't know how true that statement is joanne <laughs> anyway it was perfect time is perfect oh man you're so lucky i spent the week with blake and i only reached first base she probably needs time that's normal after what tyler did to her everyone thought that she was a bitch it must be hard for her yeah i know but come on we're young that's normal to have fun I know, but be patient, Stevie. God damn, Blake is a sweet girl. You're really lucky to have her. Don't be stupid. Later that fucking night. Thank you for taking me home. No need to thank me. Do you want to stay here? Yeah, I'd love to. And you think you're about to get some ass. I have to forget Liam. I have to give Stevie a chance. Uh -huh. Even if I'm not feeling really comfortable to spend the night with him. He's my boyfriend. I have to give him a chance. Okay. 
So you thought, okay, all right. Why didn't you spend a night at his house, bitch? Because you know your parents, because they disappear and come back asses. So we went to my room. Well, so we went to my bedroom, and we laid next to each other. We talked for a while, and then he came on top of me and started to kiss me. I kissed him back. He started to undress me. He was rough. I didn't like that. I felt really uncomfortable. Soon I was in my underwear in front of him. I stopped him. I couldn't do this. Please stop. Stop it. This is going too fast. Oh, come on. We're together. There's nothing wrong. I want to wait. I'm not ready. I'm sorry. He sat on the bed. He looked so disappointed. But I couldn't force myself. I can't do that. I thought now that I saved you, you trust me. I trust you. I'm just not ready yet. But one day, oh, well, but I will one day. I promise. I hope so. We laid down and went to sleep. It wasn't the same. He wasn't Liam. It felt awkward to sleep next to him. I don't know why. He's my boyfriend. I chose him. I should be happy with. I should be happy to spend time. Well, spend some time with him. But I'm not. Girl, that's because you put your fucking fucking other people fucking needs for your own fucking needs, bitch. I don't like this. Can we, bitch? Look. Even though Liam ugly as shit, <laughs> he treats my girl right. He treats my girl Blakey Blake right, honey. Even though he ugly as shit, girl. But he treats the Blakey Blake right. <sighs> okay, guys. Well, this is this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Off to the next one.